Hello, it's Koi, and welcome to the Eclectic Cottage. And to day eight of the 100 Day Project. Just stepped into the art room and am looking for a little inspiration. I don't have a clear plan ahead. I just know that we need to continue making some tags, journal spots, stationery, things to stuff our pockets with pocket stuffers. And I thought maybe I would just take a look around um, and try to get some inspiration from what some things that are that are in my vicinity, things that are on my desk. And there's quite a quite a bit. I have vintage wallpaper. I have this leftover decoupage napkin that we did in a um, recent project. I have a few scraps here um, that match the papers in our journals that we're working on. What else? And a whole, whole folder full of, you know, coordinating pockets. Let's see, how about this? I like this. Inspiration. Maybe this. It's kind of interesting, small flowers. Hmm. Oh, we had the chindi yesterday. We pulled out chindi. So there's this. Colors that are already kind of coordinating. And what else? Okay, I think that we can probably come up with something. Um to make with this stuff, yeah? Wait a second. One more look. Oh, we have, we could make something with our, uh, the many, many beads that we made. We made a lot, didn't we? All right, let's just start somewhere. It's fun. All right. So we'll work with... This is stuff that we have. And we'll work with some of this. Um, maybe not that paper. But this one is... This one coordinates very well with what we're doing. I'll be really sad. I've been kind of hoarding this one. I haven't been... Um, you know, this was a large roll when I first got it. I've used it a lot over the past couple of years. And I'm going to be really sad when it's gone. So I've kind of just not been using it. But these are the perfect journals to... I could have zip-tied this a little better. These are the perfect journals to use that in. Because I think it's pretty. When I look at this wallpaper, I just think, oh, it's pretty. All right, so let's take a piece of it. I don't want to go too tall. Where did my roulette go? Here you are. You were hiding. All right, so for the height, we're eight and a half. Eight and a half is the maximum size that our tag could be. So let's go with maybe seven or let's go with seven. Seven. We'll make 
Our little mark. Seven inches. Now, obviously, I could use my paper trimmer, but I'm not. I'm just going to use a scissor. And give this a little cut. One thing I remember about using this wallpaper is because it's been rolled up for so many years, it wants to, it wants to stay curly. So after we make whatever we're making here, we may have to put it under a heavy book or something to flatten it out. All right. So how are all of you doing today? Anybody doing any special crafting over the weekend? There's a 100-day project going on. I'm finding myself in the art room every day. We have we have the chimney. Um, where's that little pink one we had yesterday? How come I don't see you right here? Didn't we have a little light pink one? Um, maybe we'll go with something else then. Let's. Okay. This is our inspiration. very textured. It's um, a little bit shiny on the outside. Okay, now if we're making a journaling spot out of it, we definitely um, need to back it, although you could write here, um, it's not thick enough, it's not sturdy enough, so let's back it with, maybe with more than one thing, we will back it, and then put the, um, Still not 100% sure what we're doing here, but we are going to get there. Let's go ahead and cut this in half. This is not what I want. Something else. Something else. 
Oh, that's just a pink paper. I like that. We have to audition things. As Rachel says, we have to audition things until we like it, right? The reason I didn't like the music paper was because the tag was too long for the actual music to show around the edges. And that's kind of what I'm looking for, I think, at this point, is for a tiny bit of whatever we use to show around the edges. That's it. Let's get a glue page. I'm going to just use glue stick. This is an angry glue stick. Edges in the corners real well. All right, there's a line. This curly whirly, a curly whirly wallpaper. Maybe since we're doing three layers here, it'll help with its curling memory. All right, so I want to leave extra room between them because I would like for the pink paper to show all the way around both sides. All right, let's set that over there to dry and find something. What did we do with the, okay. And find something to back this one with. Maybe something similar. probably why my music paper didn't work because I probably measured it on the short side not the long side all right mm, too much white space on this on that polka dot what else do we have Maybe this. Let's try this one on for size. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we will cut it in half like we did the other one. Make four separate pieces. first because the wallpaper is worn right there. Okay. 
now let's cut it in half. So this one might be a little bit more narrow than the other. And that's okay. Obviously, using the paper trimmer, which I have one right down there, paper trimmer would make it a lot more square, perfectly even. And if I was a person that that fretted over that kind of stuff, I would definitely use a paper trimmer or a crafting knife or something. But I don't mind an organic look. I don't mind when things look handmade because they are. If I was making card, you know, card making where everything had to come out perfect, that would be a different story. But this is a junk journal and it's okay when things don't look perfect. They're perfectly imperfect. Okay. Primitive. I don't mind when they look a little primitive. to get the edges in the corners well the first time if not we just have to go back in with our wet glue at the end and the art glitter glue with a tiny little stream and fix it all right Let that dry a little bit. Okay. And should we make some out of this? Sure. Why not? Let's see if I can find something that will actually cut this tissue paper because those red scissors seem, don't seem to want to do it. Um, an easy way to cut napkin is to get a wet paintbrush and um, just wet your line. And I don't think I'm going that route today. You can also use sandpaper to trim off the edges of your napkin. I keep a sanding block on my desk for such things when they have when they when they come up, but today I'm just using the little green scissors. Now this is already backed once, but I think we're going to put 
another layer or so on these also. Only because its tendency is to want to curl. I think we can just put the backer right on there. This will already be the third layer. So pretty, that napkin. What's the guest towel, bathroom guest towel? All right, maybe the third layer will help it with its curling tendencies. quiet weekend here. Um, the kids are off. There is a guest uh, artist coming to the tattoo shop this week. So they're making preparations for at home, getting, you know, getting the house in order and um, setting up. They have a, it, there is a spare room. I mean, there is a, the room that we use to gather in. It's like the office mm, slash lounge slash hangout area <laughs> that we use. And there is a day bed in there with a pull-out trundle, so there's really room for two people to sleep. 
And guest artists come from time to time. So they have a nice place to be without having to get a hotel room and, you know, all of that. They're right there at the shop. All right. I guess I trimmed these shorter than the others. Maybe we'll trim them all the same size. This isn't really working. Let's get a piece. Okay. All right, now let's let these dry. And let's see if the others are ready to cut. this looks. Oh yeah, we still want another layer on these. A writing layer. has to show just a little peek. project. Okay, I think that there's a few new people. I think that there are since, you know, there's quite a few new people since the the um, 100 Day Project started um, that are coming to our channel, I have subscribed. And if any of you are new to junk journaling, I would say if you've never created your own journal before, this could be a great time to get started. And the hardest part is just getting started. So you may want to, you know, start, start, you can start from the beginning, start with day one on the 100 day project and follow along with some of our, you know, the little projects that we are doing and, you know, make the ephemera. And eventually, as soon as I get these journals finished, we'll be starting a brand new journal of some type. And if you're anxious to get the actual journal started, you can go to the beginning of, because this has really been a step-by-step, -step, these two journals have really been a step-by-step -step process, and most of it's been done on video. So you can go to the beginning of the, um, I'll put it in, I'll put, I'll put it in the comments on what video, what number of video, uh, the two new journals started. And you can start from, from scratch, picking out your papers and, you know, making your cover. And I think all of it's on there.
Otherwise, you can just follow along with a 100-day project, get started making some ephemera. And once you start having some pockets and tags and, and such ready, it may inspire you to actually make a journal to put them in. relatively new flyer that says that that um subway in addition to their foot long sandwiches now have foot long pretzels and foot long cookies and a foot long something else churros I think a foot long pretzel sounds kind of like a nice snack Auntie Anne's pretzels I don't want to leave a, lo a large border, just a very small border all the way around these, just because we can. If I don't like it, I will trim it off. I'm really basically looking to get three layers so that our substrate our wallpaper and our decoupage napkin stop their curling. It looks like it's helping definitely on the wallpaper. Yeah, I'm not sure I like this pink border. I'm going to go ahead and show it to the edge. I think the pink border did nothing for it. Another glue paper. Some of these first ones are dry. usually use an old book that cuts from an old book to use as glue pages but all of a sudden I have this big um, stack of just papers scrap papers that are growing and I just keep using them over and over and over again um,
using an old book kind of makes sense. Because then, when you finish with them, the gluey side, you can just glue it together and make a pocket or a tag or something out of your book page. And you could do that with these too, but I'm gluing on both sides. And you don't really want to use the glue. You don't want the glue side out because, you know, high humidity or whatever could make the glue sticky again. That's not good. All right, so these are drying. Maybe we can trim these first. Who am I kidding? I'm going to trim them all. <laughs> Yeah, this third layer is um, definitely helping these guys want to lay a little flatter. They're behaving themselves a bit more. Yeah, I'm gonna trim. I'm gonna trim the border off of um, these as well. Okay, so this is going to give us two new tags for each of our journals. We'll be making progress. We have a lot of pockets of stuff.
use a little glue. those two. Here's these two. And these two. And these two. to get all the borders trimmed off and then we're going to size them. Make sure that we have four matching pairs. before it starts drying out. All right, so those two are somewhat, how did you guys get so such different sizes? We're still wet. We're not dry yet, but close enough. Okay, let's get our corners Racheled. You can use your corner rounder if you're a more precise person. I kind of like the organic, primitive look of just snipping. One last tool I have to keep close at hand. Yep, the third layer really helped with the curling factor. And I'm thinking 
that we may use the chendi to use as a little hinge to hinge these together. And measured to make sure these were approximately the same size. All right, and you can skip this stage if you'd like, but I like to distress my edges. Lightly, I lightly distress. I am not an over distressor. You may not even be able to hardly tell on the video that the distressing has even been done. How come this feels a little lumpy right there? If I was an expert editor, I would fast forward through this part. I haven't got all that stuff figured out yet. Hopefully I will. That's my um, intent for this new year, is to learn more in 2024. And I started the 100 day project. <laughs> I was learning more. I was learning more in 2024. Then I started the 100 day project. And this um, takes a lot of effort to make it to the art room every day to, you know, try and get a new <clears throat> project, not only done, but also um, a video. And again, there may, I may not be able to get a video for every single um, day of the 100 days. I'm not going to put that kind of pressure on myself, but I, you know, my commitment is to come to the art room every single day, even on the days when I might not ordinarily um, want to. Everybody's got 10 or 15 minutes a day that they could uh, spare for a creative activity, and... It's easy to fall into the habit of not making it to the desk. So I figure it usually takes 21 days to create a habit. At least that's what they used to say. 21 days to create a habit. At least that's what I used to tell her. I used to repeat that and tell people that about... Um, I worked with a lot of people when I, when I worked... Uh, Home Depot. I was a manager of a lot of people, and quite often people were um, going to stop smoking or this, that, and the other. And I tell them it only takes 21 days to create a habit. You make it for the first 21 days. You got it. You got it. Okay. So now we have our four tags and let's see what we're gonna do with them I thought I had pink I thought I had just a little 
like light baby pink, but we're gonna use we're gonna use this one. It's very wide. We don't need it that wide. We're mm. You know what? I don't think that I want to use that. Only because I didn't like the way it reacted to the glue yesterday. I need to use a little bit thicker fa fabric. Oh, there's that little pink one, I think. Let me keep that out. Yeah, I didn't like the way the glue reacted to that kind of to that fabric. That's not large enough. Ah. Okay, let's see. What else do we have close by? Piece of this tablecloth. Might come in handy. Round tablecloth. So let's see. Hmm. All right, let's see if we can straighten this mess I made up. Okay, if you are a seamstress, a perfectionist, don't look. All right, we're going to make a hinge, not too wide. One, two. Oh, we only need two. No. Four, three, four. Okay. One, two, three, four. All right. All right, let's see if this works out a little bit better. And if not, I think it will. If not, we can just cover it right up. And Fabri-Tac, because we're working with fabric. I'm hoping that the Fabri-Tac reacts better to this fabric than it did on the other. If not, we'll just have to get a heavier, a heavier fabric.
my glue here and some glue here. Let's see how we do. Okay, I'm going to leave a small gap so that we can open and close there. Cute. All right. Maybe a little thinner, a little more narrow. Make sure they're both right side up. These are flowers, so there is a top and a bottom. Oh yeah, cute. I liked it being a little bit more narrow. both right side up like these. Add 
our Fabri-Tac. I'm going to spread it out just a little bit with this silicone brush. You can do this with paper. You can do it with washi tape. My original thought was to use that chindi because it was what was on my desk. But if you watch the video yesterday, the Fabri-Tac did not um, react very well with the chindi. So... I have decided not to go that route with this project. All right, and my glue is going to go on this side of this one. Save a little room for it to open and close. Oh, so cute. All right, and we are going to do whoop. No, don't cut paper with the fabric scissors. We'll have to call the fabric scissor police. Okay. Redistress. We cut the distress edge off. One more. Call the fabric scissor police on myself. On this one, it goes on this side.
Okay, journaling spot. Perfect. And if you were so inclined, you could put a pocket inside. You could actually sew a little signature with a few pieces of paper in here. Should we do that on one of them? <coughs> All right, what else do we need? We want to put washi tape in here. All right, let's cover the spine with washi tape. Add a little glue. Even though this washi tape is fairly sticky, you know how washi tape is. It tends to unsticky itself. It was never intended to be a permanent tape. It was always intended to be somewhat removable. Okay. Right side. Where's the top? Okay. I went a little on the short side. All right, we're going to let it dry before folding it. This washi tape is so old. I bought it at Michael's. It's probably the, some of the first washi tape I ever bought. And this is when I still lived in Florida. So it's probably... Huh, no telling how old it is. Two... seen other people do that didn't work that well for me.
think I need to get those red scissors off my desk. They're not um, doing the job very well on a lot of on a lot of different items. Everything's sticking to my fingers. I don't like that. I doubt anybody does. Oh, there's probably no one ever that said, oh, I love when all this stuff sticks to my fingers when I'm gluing. Yeah, that probably isn't a thing. All right, the glue will dry on the silicone brush and I'll be able to just peel it off later. That's the lovely thing about using those brushes. Um, I got mine on Amazon, but I think that I have also seen them at the Dollar Tree. So for a buck 25, you too can have a silicone brush. It's something I use a lot, a lot, a lot in my art room. I use it when I'm using the jelly plate. I use it when I'm using acrylic paints. I use it when I'm using adhesives. It's a handy little thing. All right. I don't think any of these scraps are worth saving. Can't keep it all. Can't keep it all. I made these clay buttons I had these and I made this really, really thin one. I thought I might be able to use it for something in a journal one of these days. Be that's why I made it as thin as I possibly could. Never know. Maybe. Maybe not. All right, what else do we have? What else can we do? I don't want to get them too bulky. We could put a bead on them, but then that would make it a little on the bulky side. I don't want to do that. All right. Two. Three. Or should we put some lace on the top or the bottom? Give them a little extra personality or leave them like they are. How'd you end up taller than everybody else? Okay. So there we have it. One, two, three, four. Three, four folding journal spots. I think that's going to do it for today, folks. Okay, let me know what you think in the comments. This is something that you um, probably, it's nothing new or earth shaking, um, but you could have four tags for your journal in, in, oh, this is kind of a long video. All right, very good, it's over an hour. It's over an hour, so I was gonna say it was quick, but it wasn't that quick. All right, very good. Thank you for joining me today. Today was day eight. I will see you very soon for a new video. Bye.